Hong Kong, let's go. Again. Got, got two beds. <laughs> Apparently the girls only have one. Nice bathroom. And then of course, what you want when you're having a bath. <laughs> Just what we want. The view. So dark. The lighting's really good in here. There's no way to make it any brighter either. Just don't fall a little Doesn't help. Can't even see my chin. Okay. Off to the track. Well, that's better this side. Oh. Oh, my God. 
coffee. We are truly taste us. Yeah, okay. Is that Australia all over again? What do you like? Yeah. Sorry, just brush my teeth. How's your response to oh no, in Australia it's too milky. Yeah. Too this one. Too milky. Too milky. I mean this is recording. Yeah, the recording. This is heavy, isn't it? It's heavier, mate. Every time you hold the camera. What? Why does it look really grey? Is that normal? It's just... It's not. Doesn't it? It looks really grey. Oh, now I have this morning. Yeah, I can't see it. Yeah, no, I don't like that. That's funny. That's funny. I feel like. Where's Louie? Where's your coffee? Giving me like. What's it giving you? Bad vibes. Oh. You know, like. That's not good. Like Starbucks. You know, like. That's just really bad. Looks like. Oh, here comes Lori. Can I zoom in? Oh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when it comes, I think it's an extra large latte. That's what it yeah. tastes like. Thank you. Go on, Lori, tell us what you think. I mean, the good props of the latte are. It feels really lovely. It's alright. Why is it props to the latte? Is that. Four fruit. Is it hard? We have an English fruit. Am I having an English brew? It just looks like a camping mug. Yeah. It is a camping mug. Oh no. Is it? Strong. Amazing. I don't know I'm going to pick up. Give it a mix. No. <laughs> I'll get absolutely on the floor give it a mix. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> this one's for you. Yeah, this one's for In his little bag. What's funny? It's like straight down the lens. Yeah. No, I quite like that. Really? Yeah. yeah. Why? Um. It's quite fruity though. Oh, yeah, so a bit of both. Rice mate, it's the same size as Joe said, it is quite milky. It, it is quite milky. Yeah. Is it the same size as a UK I thought five or okay, six ounces. Okay. Well, have you been here before? I think yes, yes. Yes. Seven. seven out of ten. This is the I don't think I'd give it seven. What do you give it? Yeah. But it's quite nice. It's, very it's a nice coffin. Take a big sip. Take a big sip. Oh, go on. Get in there. Mmm. Yeah, but I have a It's one of my It is the Hey, it's raining. It's just form of uh, Emma's form as a waterproof. Yeah, I didn't bring a coat. So. We're walking into track vlog. <laughs> Noise? Oh. I can't. <laughs> no, 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 no. I can't. No, I can't. Do it, Katie. Do it for the vlog. Uh, no! No, it was the, the first noise. Oh. The slow, like. What's the first noise? This one! Make that one. Make that one if you can. It's not coming out. Did it? Uh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> What's it like? <laughs> Go on, Wait, so. What are you doing? I can't do it. Do it It was smiling, is what? Is it recording? Now so. <laughs> That's the one. That's the one. <laughs> you 
in his natural habitat. That looks so weird. <laughs> That's, horrible. That's disgusting. Why is it just Go on, do a little unboxing, Emma. Why is it what have we got? Cleansing powder. Oh, okay. Uh, Mango Oil. Put this on box. Why do you like this? Mm -hmm. Detox summon. You got any of that French cream? Um, cream cream. Real French cream in there. Um, yummy. We're doing a detox in a lot of time. Detox? Yummy, yummy, yummy. Ooh! Yummy cream. A wee really sheet lovely. mask. <laughs> Get two of those as well. <laughs> Skincare tonight. I, I can use a little sheet mask. Ooh. He's casually vacuuming the track. We've arrived and we're settled in Hong Kong, as you can see. Um, we arrived on Saturday and it was a fight to stay awake the whole day because we arrived in the morning. Um, but we flew through the day in UK time, so that was a bit of a rough day if I'm honest. But we, well I think I've adjusted to the time zone quite well so far, touch wood. I've had two really good nights of sleep. Uh, can't say the same for everybody else, but that's how the cookie crumbles I guess. Um, and then yesterday we loosened off our legs with a bit of turbo. We were going to go out, but it's hella windy. I feel like we've brought the British weather with us. <laughs> Not the most ideal, but we're used to it, and it's still warmer than back home at the minute, so can't complain about that. Um, yeah, and then we've been on track today. The track's pretty cool. It can't, it's not what I remembered, but I think the last time we ca I came, which was in 2019, I literally flew in, flew out. So, like, I don't really think I've really got over the jet lag. Um, so don't really remember it being like this, but, yeah, it's very round. The transitions are a bit different to other tracks. They are later at the top or earlier at the top, depends on how you think about it, um, and further into the straight at the bottom of the track. Um, just a bit different, throws you out. Um, Mid-bend a little bit, throws you down, coming out the turn, so that would make racing a bit interesting. Um, but yeah, today was really good, it's just a different challenge, it's quite exciting. Uh, I feel quite snappy and punchy, so that's good. I think today's session went really well, we did starts, we did some team efforts, and then we also did um, a flying hundred, so we've basically done everything to try and get ourselves used to the track, and yeah, it was a really good session. So really excited going forward, and yeah, like the track, it's a new challenge. It's got its own personality, so yeah, can't wait to get stuck in. We have pre-race day on Wednesday, and then team sprint is on Friday, um, sprint Saturday, and Kieran Sunday. So yeah, just a little bit of time to kill before we get stuck into some racing, which I think is going to be really exciting. So. Yeah, pretty good start to the trip, and I'm looking forward to how it's going to turn out. sharp, punchy, um, and I'm really excited to get going. I think the girls also like it. Um, I asked them what they thought, so I might insert that here. What do you think of track, pre-race day, all of the above? All of the above. Um, track, interesting. I liked it as it the session went on. I think it's, you like, get what you, I don't know, it's quite a smooth track. Um, pre-race day was really good, I thought. We did some good team efforts. Um, yeah, I'm excited to see what we can do in the team sprint. Um, obviously, by the end of this vlog, you'll know. So, I'll see what we do. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah. Um, yeah, I actually really like it. I think it was fun. Like, it was a good track, good session, good vibes. I want it to be a bit warmer, a bit windy, but it's good. Nice. What do you think of the track? 
what? What I think of the track. Um, I think it's nice and grippy. I think it. You just. It's just gonna. I'll be where I am. You know. Is not like I'm not gonna try and stand up there. I quite like it. It's cold yesterday. Um, right, let me think of more feedback. I'm about the same colour as the wood, actually paler, so that's going to look really good when it, this photo is small. Um, yeah, those are my thoughts and feelings. It's going to be fast. I actually quite like it. It's a bit of a different challenge and you have to really think about it because it's not like Manchester or like other tracks that we've ridden that are quite similar to that. So yeah, it adds a new dynamic but it's like a nice problem to kind of solve. Um, so I'm really excited. And, um, but yeah, overall, pretty good start to the trip. The food is uh, a little bit different. Like when we travel a lot anyway, we have to get used to different cuisines and like different styles of like standard like nutrition and all of that. Um, so a lot of things here are fried, which like back home don't really fry a lot of things. Like a lot of it's like baking it in the oven and like a lot less use of oil. So just adjusting to that a little bit, but overall, yeah, pretty good start. Um, because we've had a lot of downtime and because we've been jet lagged to fuck, uh, we've gone and found some nice coffee shops, which all of the other teams have like cottoned on to where we are, so we keep crossing over. Um, so that's quite nice. The weather has been terrible, um, but today the sun's actually come out, so it's nice. I thought we bought the UK weather with us, although it has been warmer than the UK, so thank, thank God for that. Um, but yeah, good start to the trip. Really looking forward to like how the rest of it's going to go. Uh, and then yeah, Team Sprint starts on Friday, which is going to be really exciting. I think we've uh, come with some good legs and it's going to be in really interesting to see like the results that come out of this. So really excited to get going.
just recorded everything and my camera had an error and I have no other footage. So I'll start again. It was amazing to win as a team. Again, <laughs> after it being that long since we'd won before, to do it back to back. When I know there were circumstances in Australia that people were a bit like, oh, well, we didn't get to see people performing. Well, we just wanted to turn up and show that it wasn't a fluke. And I think we did that. And also, I think we rode really well together as a team. And to win the last, last team sprint that we're going to do before the games in like a big competition is pretty special. On top of that, we've officially qualified for the Olympics, three team sprint. Um, if we've done the maths right, which I am 100% sure Reese, our PA, has, we can't not qualify now. Um, which, considering we've not qualified since 2012, um, is just amazing. It's been a project we've been working on as a team for so long, not wanting to feel like the tag along squad or like we didn't have as big a say or big a seat at the table. Um, and we've changed that narrative and it's just very special. Um, I've been part of teams that, well, I, was, I was part of the squad when we realised we hadn't qualified for Tokyo. Um, and I remember watching the girls on TV when they realised they hadn't won for Re uh, qualified for Rio. So yeah, we've done it. <laughs> um, and not only have we done it, we're currently top of the Olympic rankings, which is really exciting and yeah it just shows that like we're not just qualified but we're one of the medal contenders we're one of the favorites and knowing that we've got so much more to come like i wasn't on my best form like the girls didn't fully taper for that we've got so much to find in lots of different areas to still come out on top and do the time that we did which was a tiny bit away from world record at the minute is just so so exciting um yeah and I think that's going to give us a lot of momentum going forward as well. Kind of like put our marker down and now we can just build on top of that. Um, yeah, so really special. And then the rest of the weekend wasn't as good for me. I think I finished fifth in the sprint and I'm not 100% sure where I finished in the Kieran. Um, I just didn't have quite the form I thought I was going to going in. Um, we tried something and we did a few different things in training. Uh, I've seen loads of progress, um, but just didn't all kind of come together in Hong Kong. Not to say it went bad, like fifth in the sprint's a great result. I did a great 200 meter qualifying time, I went 10.5 again. Um, but I just didn't have that like spark and sharpness in the race in itself. Uh, and it was a little bit the same in team sprint. Um, I just didn't necessarily, I was just a bit flat all weekend, I think is the best way to describe it which again is really exciting because I raced really well. I have lots of glimpses of really good things, um, but it just didn't all come together this time, but it doesn't need to because the end goal is later in the year. We know what we need to sort out in order to make sure it comes together. Um, and it's good that we know now because now I know what does work and what doesn't work in terms of getting ready for comp. Um, so yeah, a bit frustrated with that. But I can take loads of positives from racing really well. Um, I've become way more confident again, like I said, from Australia and executing in Kieran's and sprints and I'm going out and I'm doing exactly what I say I want to do. So that's really exciting going forward. Um, and of course, like on the contrast though, like Emma, Emma did the triple this weekend, which is amazing. Not many, not many sprinters do that these days, um, especially on the women's side because there's so much talent and so much like depth across like all nations um but yeah she did amazing she's just on some incredible form uh and it's exciting because this whole team's got so much momentum and we've all got so much more to come as well like this is nowhere near us all sparkly and shiny so really excited to, going forward that's the last nations cup we're going to do in our olympic prep so just got olympic selection to come and time just to basically get the head down and get the hard work done um and I kind of can't wait. So hopefully I'll see you soon. Uh, I don't know when the next time I'm probably going to bring the camera out. Maybe a bit of uh, what we're getting up to in training or something. Because now we're just getting our heads down and getting stuck into um, preparation towards the Olympic Games. So I'll see you soon.